start off first. Coach, with a general comment about this afternoon's game, and then we'll open up for questions for you, Laura, Ashley, Laura, or Matt. Coach? Yeah, I think it was a, a great game. Uh, obviously, it came down to one goal, and our, our players gave it everything they had. Uh, not the way we wanted the season to end, but um, congratulations to Minnesota on, on advancing to the Frozen Four. Questions? Credit to them, it was a great play, and she just caught me back door. But um, playing this game, I mean, the seniors put their heart into the game, and it was very unfortunate how it turned out. But playing under their leadership all season was unbelievable, and I've never experienced better seniors on the team before. Breaking and Staller, for the two of you, how much did you guys expect to not only be in this game today here? at Amsoil, but, but to be within a goal uh, of the Frozen Four and, and obviously be a team that you know, was a contender to, to go to the Frozen Four and maybe do more. Yeah, um, definitely students up a little bit today for loss, so we were looking looking for uh, next weekend. Um, today we knew it was going to be a big game. Um, looking at the top eight seats, we knew our game was probably going to be the toughest game to get through, so we weren't looking too far past. We knew we had, we had to take down a pretty good team, so, um, but it does suck. We were, we were looking forward to that Frozen Four experience, so we, we worked all year. We, I think we deserve to be there, so uh, it's kind of in the backyard. Laura, at what point in the season did you feel like you guys had, had a team that, that could do this and, and you know, make a run at Frozen Four? I don't know. I mean, you know, the whole season we had a good group. We came together. We were pretty much family in the end. And I don't know, being ranked number two, beating Wisconsin golfers at home. We knew we had a good group, and we knew we, we could take it to the Frozen Four. Unfortunately, we played well today. I thought one, one mistake can cost you the game, and that showed it today. Maddie, how much of what this team was able to do this year, how much has it raised expectations for, for future seasons? Yeah, I mean, what the team did this year is really special, and a bunch of younger girls stepped up. Um, the freshmen who brought had a great season, and it just showed our team depth, and it will just carry us in the next season beyond going this far. Looking at players like Laura and, and Brad and, and Captain McGovern, Another one who really stepped up this year. What do you what do you take from them and what they were able to do to raise their level of play? Yeah, it was it was special to see. I mean, they let us really the whole season, and they pushed me to be a better player in practice. I mean, it was nothing all the time. But it was just really special to see what they did and what they've gone through to be able to lead the team this year. Ashley, I counted at least three off the crossbar. How frustrating is that to come so close and dismiss? Yeah, I think we, we came in after the second period there and we had just bring a few off the post crossbar plays, but I mean that's the talking for you. Um, it comes down to those those inches like we'll take it like that or that just go either way. So I mean those was those are tough. You guys really showed uh, the momentum after the goal there. Where were you finding that momentum and the intensity with the final 11 minutes left in the game? Yeah, I think uh, naturally um, we started getting going there a lot better at the end of the last 10 minutes. Um, getting down uh, possibly the end of our season, um, last, last game in, in our home barn. So I think naturally uh, uh, everyone kind of raises their game a little bit. And when they put the puck in the net, we kind of took a step back, woke up a little bit more. And you know, we had to get the next one if we wanted to make it a game. So. 
far, what is it that, that Coach Crow and her staff has been prepping for the last two years that that's allowed you guys to, to get to where you are? Yeah, I mean, the whole coaching staff, kind of like in practice and in games, they focus on work ethic a lot. And I would say even your greatest leaders started to work as hard as you can in practice, in games. And I feel like that stepped up our game a lot. And just like, I mean, I don't have to talk about strategies and stuff. They're top of that anyways. And just like that stood out to me, that work ethic, and that it's like asked from every player to like give your best otherwise you can sit on the bench or <laughs> I mean yeah like that's just like something I personally learned a lot about from the coaching staff to just always give your best and they always have that saying that you can do mistakes as long as you make them at 100 miles an hour and I would say that's kind of like the quote from the coaching staff. A coach you know such a great senior class uh, you know, what do you say about them and how do you go forward with them next year? Yeah, I can't even think about next year yet. Uh, extremely fortunate to have the five seniors that we had. They're amazing examples of what we want this program to be about, what we will continue to recruit to this team. Um, I couldn't be more proud to have these guys um, on our team and as leaders. Everything they do on the ice, you guys see. But what I get to see is what they do off the ice. And, Everybody on this team loves these guys. Everybody on this team looks up to them um, and, and wants to be like them, both on and off the ice. And uh, as, a, as a player, I don't think you could ask for much more. So as a coach, I was extremely fortunate to have them, and I love them. Mara, how helpful was this senior class in, in helping you transition? into a new, new job and, and new school and new team and everything? Essential. Wouldn't have happened without these guys. Um, just their, their buy-in from day one. Um, you know, they, they want to be in these spots. They wanted to bring this program back to the national tournament and, and be in these spots. And um, I think we all work together really well to, to get this program here. And they, they should take the majority of the credit because they do the work on the ice to get it done. Um, so, can't say enough.